Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can go to the internet browser and look for something called the Light and Shadow Primary School Simulation. And to demonstrate that this can be done on almost any search engine such as uh, Google, I'm going to go to the incognito mode and type in uh, that particular search phrase that I've just mentioned. Okay, and we will be something like that and you can click search and it should be the first simulation that you can see and with that <coughs> simulation you will be able to interact with the light and shadow primary school javascript model and virtual lab so in this particular web page i have done a lot of research to improve its usability such as in the prerequisite what would the student require sample learning goals and so on there's also even this translation that allows these simulations to be read in the native languages of different countries in the world and to use the simulation merely click on the icon for the picture and it will launch into the digital library of which it will start to load the simulation after some time depending on your bandwidth it should be able to load up eventually uh, and this is uh, taking some time uh, but uh, let's see whether i can try again by refreshing it uh, okay it's not really working out okay now it is loading more rapidly thanks to the Singapore SG wireless and come on come on okay now eventually when it loads up you will see that the simulation is uh, in this particular view of which then to activate the full screen view just click on this button and it will go to the full screen Oh, I see there are some issues so uh, thank goodness for videoing this so you can see when I select <coughs> light travels in a straight line the simulation automatically will configure its initial states so that it allows the students to then see what does it mean when light travels in a straight line and you can even stop the simulation and just drag on the source one to see the effect of this particular uh, moving of the source of light. Now how about a shadow that is formed uh, when an object, so the pink object is blocking the path of the light and therefore a shadow is cast on the other side of the screen which you can see over here. Okay, you can adjust the screen interactively and Okay. Now I'm going to pause this and I'm going to try now resetting it and now I'm going to select other options uh, such as the third option where a decrease the distance of source increases the shadow size and if you were to click on the play button you can see evidently on the screen that the shadow cast on the screen gets larger as well as if the source were to move away correspondingly the shadow size decreases now um, I can go on and on about all these cool uh, guided inquiry options that I've designed but maybe one of the more interesting stuff that you can do is you can actually do a, a very targeted learning by having these options provided to me so that I can design for example distinct edges of shadow occurs when the light source is near the object so when you click play these two sources simulates a, a non-point source light and you can see that there is this dark part of the shadow as well as the the part that is a little bit on the gray side this is a result of the this the distance between the two sources so this will allow your students and yourself to play interactively with this simulation so that you can gain a deeper understanding of what it means for light and shadow. Thank you very much for listening.